Mutations. It's a word that sounds pretty scary. Mutant swamp thing, teenage mutant ninja turtles. But mutations actually aren't all bad. Hi, I'm Janice Crenetti, and I'm here to talk to you about what is a mutation. Well, a mutation really refers to a mistake in the replicating of DNA. DNA is the stuff that's inside of your cells that makes you you. cut, your body's constantly making more cells. And every time it goes to make a new cell, it has to replicate DNA. In the process of replicating DNA, sometimes things go a little bit wrong. Sometimes the mistakes are so small that it doesn't actually result in any change in your body. Sometimes, as in situations where animals, for instance, are exposed to large amounts of pollutants, the mutations can be really severe. Um, if you think of a frog growing a third leg because of the polluted water that's been living in. Well, this is how a mutation actually works. As the DNA strands unzip, what I have here is a DNA strand, and each of these little gumdrops here represents a different nucleotide base. So DNA unzips, and the idea is that an exact strand will be, a complementary strand will be, will be formed. So the adenine will match up with the guanine, excuse me, with the um, thymine, and the cytosine will match up with the guanine. Well, as you can see here, I should have a red gumdrop. But sometimes what happens is that the body puts the wrong color there instead. And so we wind up with a little teeny tiny mistake. Well, even a mistake this small can result in something like, let's say, sickle cell anemia. So mutations, again, can be very small. They can be very large. But they're a mistake in DNA being replicated. That's really all there is to it. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is What is a Mutation?